One day the Prophet وسلم, stood up in the depths of the night. It is authentically reported in Al-Bukhari that he raised his hands up to the heavens and he said, Oh Allah, my Ummah, my Ummah. Ya Allah, my Ummah, my Ummah. Ya Allah, my Ummah, my Ummah. He couldn't say more than that. He couldn't finish his sentences because he was so emotional. Until the night passed and the last third of the night came. Until Fajr time came. And at that point, Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam came down and said, Ya Muhammad, Ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, Allah has sent me and said, Ya Muhammad, your Lord will not disappoint you regarding your ummah. Your Lord will not disappoint you regarding your ummah. The question is, brothers and sisters of Islam, are we going to disappoint our Prophet sallallahu Are we going to disappoint our Prophet sallallahu Allah has promised our Prophet, He will not disappoint him regarding our Ummah. The question is us, are we going to otherwise not fulfill the promise of Allah and be a disappointment for our Prophet For those people who are looking at the situation, the Muslimin around us and say there is no hope for this Ummah. This Ummah is destroyed. There is no hope for it. Those who look at the situation of Islam and Muslims and the countries of, the, of Islam and Muslims being eaten up by other people, but Allah, I will tell you, every single person that has made an effect in this dunya was not a really great man before they became, became great. They were not particularly talented, not particularly educated, not particularly eloquent. They didn't need the permission of everybody. They didn't have the help of everyone as well. But Allah, they had one thing and one thing only, and that was a deep burning desire to achieve something. Be you of those people who fulfill His vision. Be you of those people who fulfill your love for Allah Azzawajal by pursuing the vision of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on this earth. Everyone will say, I love Allah or I want to love Allah. However, certain things prevent them from proving their love for Allah Azzawajal. The first thing that prevents them is this negativity. I can't be that great. I can't prove my love to Allah. I've done too much sins. I'm not someone special. I don't have Islamic knowledge. I only know so little. I'm not from a great family. I'm not a great speaker. How can I try?